Alrighty guys, it's I, Chrissy Girl. Welcome to part 24 of my Pokemon Black playthrough. And in this part, I'm not actually going to take on the gym leader. I am, however, going to head all the way back to Nuvema Town because there is some exploration I want to do now that I know Surf. And uh, yeah, when I'm ready to take on the gym leader, I'll fly back to Icarus City, but. For the time being, I am going to head on to Route 17 and 18 and check those routes out. I'm a surfing bird. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows about the surfing bird. <laughs> so once you've got surf, if you can come down here and explore sort of like this sort of two routes down this sort of area. Um, Worthwhile coming down here because this is where you can pick up the HM waterfall. It's not necessary to complete the game, but you know, it is worthwhile picking it up anyway. Um, and yeah! <laughs> okay, um. I love doing commentary, it's just it's a good way to cheer me up after a really shite day. I mean, it's been a really fucking shite day for me. I mean,. My god. <laughs> uh, I don't like shite days. <laughs> That's why I love doing, coming home and doing commentaries. It, it cheers. It cheers me up. It gives me something to do. It cheers me up. Makes me feel a lot better. And yeah. Let's take out this swoo bat then. Because you know, I don't have all day to play games with these daft rangers and their forgetful swoobats uh, oh great that didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I would have liked it to uh, fuck you swoobat <laughs> come on froggy come back I will feel the man. I trust you. So I've actually finished Pokemon Black in its entirety. The whole playthrough is now up on VG playthrough, with, you know, non-commentary wise. So I'm just going to finish off the commentary for this. I'm also um, in the midst of doing Pokemon Fire Red Omega, which is a hack of Pokemon Fire Red, obviously. Um, hacked obviously to include all um, the first three generations of Pokemon in it which is fantastic really and it's a good hack from what I've played so far I mean I haven't gone much into it I've only just beaten Brock so it's probably a bit too early to say but you know I've had I've had fun with it so far it, it's pretty good I'm not doing a commentary on it because I'm, I would like to hopefully do Pokemon Yellow in the future if I can, and maybe do a commentary on that one instead. Um, Fire Red, doing a commentary on Fire Red Omega and Yellow would just be a bit too repetitive for me. So I'm just leaving Fire Red as a non-commentary exclusive. Persimberry, awesome. That's a one thing that can cure confusion. So if you have a Persimberry, it's, it's useful. <sighs> Huh. There we go. Hyper potion. But yeah, I, I had a f great time with this. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a few trainers to battle along here. And you know, every little help, so I am getting ready to fight another gym leader, of course. I probably needn't have worried so much because in the end he actually was really easy to beat, but you know, gotta be prepared! Gotta prepare for trouble! Okay. <laughs> Apophis is the man for the job. Direwolf also could have done a pretty good job against these guys, but... Meh. A 
Health Office could probably use the experience. I do apologise if there's any lag, but again, recording off of YouTube. <laughs> it's one way of doing it. Yeah, there's two different kinds of relish. I don't know if I've actually ever mentioned that before. I probably have. That's just me. That takes care of that. Ugh, excuse me. Exhausted all the bloody time and I still don't get fucking appreciated. <laughs> uh. So, uh... There's another ranger around there. Let's have a chat. Battle me! <laughs> the surfing bird demands it! Sig <laughs> uh. Gino. Not another one of these fucking bastards again. You know... I'm, I'm down. I'll admit that, but I'm also up as well because... I got my hoodies. <laughs> my hoodies, which um, demonstrate the fact that I'm a fan of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I am such a nerd. <laughs> yeah. I'm currently wearing the hoodie which has House Lannister on the back. I am so chuffed. <laughs> and I am such a Game of Thrones nerd. Well, I should say, A Song of Ice and Fire, I'm definitely more into the books. I've talked about it enough though, so I'm going to try and shut my face. Uh, I'm trying to think what to do here. Um, Pinto's asleep. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> oh, excuse me. There's not really much else I can do. I don't think I have anything to wake Pinto up. So I just kind of have to wait until she wakes herself up or I switch her out or whatever. I love how, you know, Pinto's moving so friggin' slowly. <laughs> Look, I'm asleep. I'm not gonna move very fast. I have no energy in my movements. That tail slap actually hurts. Surprising, really. Oh, excuse me! Oh, God! That's not fair! Five times, you motherfucking piece of shit! <laughs> uh, okay, um, Tyrion, you're the man for the job. <laughs> Oh god. And yes, um, in Fire Red Omega on VG Play 4, I am naming a lot of the characters after characters from Song of Ice and Fire. I think I am definitely obsessed. <laughs> it goes without a saying. I love the show. I love the books. I love everything about it. Okay, Zeb Striker. Well, I have just the thing for this. Froggy! Froggy! Hey. This thing. This thing shouldn't be too hard to take out. I mean, it's a Zeb Striker. I've bought quite a few of these. <laughs> oh, God. That's it. That's the way. Okay. Got another person berry. I am definitely grateful for that. I like person berries. <laughs> very, very useful. <laughs> okay, there's a hidden. No, there isn't. A pearl. Okay. There is a hidden item. Big mushroom! Excuse me. Right, so I'm now going to head on to route 18, I believe. <laughs> There's nothing working here. It's not working! Oh my god! 
Okay, um, normally most people would say, Oh, fucking, that, hell, that's not working. Oh my god, people should just spend the money out and fix it. And no, nope, they're just like, oh, it's refreshing, it isn't working. <laughs> okay, this is Route 17. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, they're pretty much next door to each other in any case. This, this has got a fair bit of surfing on it, so I am going to be a surfing bird. <laughs> I say that because, you know, birds. <sighs> some You get some idiots who refer to females over here as birds. Tweet, tweet to you guys. Tweet, fucking tweet. <laughs> I probably should make some kind of type about Twitter now that I've said tweet, tweet, but... <laughs> No, nothing I say is funny. <laughs> I just say shit anyway, because it cheers me up after I've had such a shitey day. <gasps> Excuse me. I think this guy has a ton of basculins that he sends in. Really? Oh, fucking god. It's like the Magikarp guy all over again. <laughs> well, mind you, at least basculins can actually fend for themselves. Magikarps are just fucking useless. <laughs> um, no, again, I don't want to learn taunt. Fuck that. No interest in taunt whatsoever. Okay, this isn't the guy with the crap ton of... Basculin. But still, yeah, there, there is someone who has a ton of Basculin. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. TM06 Toxic. That can come in handy. Toxic's a really good move, in my personal opinion. You may notice that there's these, like, currents of water which seem to be flowing in one direction. You can't go the opposite, you know, you have to go the way the current takes you, you can't go any other way. Ah! What Pokemon? Go die. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to slap a repel on because there are tons of wild Pokemon around here. Just like everywhere else and I don't really want to fight any because I'm too lazy. So, I will battle the trainer say because I kind of don't really have much choice in a way. So what have you got to show me, missus? Oh, oh no. Momola. Oh, hello Momola. Hello Momola. Okay. I, I said it before I'll say it again. This this should have been the evolution of Love Disc. I mean look at it. It doesn't look that much different. Why the hell is it its own Pokemon? Why the hell am I whining about a heart-shaped Pokemon? Who the hell cares? <laughs> oh, perspective girl. Get some. Okay. Well, that's not going to make much difference to you, because the water attacks are still not going to hurt me very much. Just, you know, transforming a Apophis into a water type from a grass type. Fuck you. Okay, um... Do I need to heal or do anything? I, I don't know. Ah, fuck it, who cares? I've got the sound muted as well, so I can't hear exactly what's going on. See here, you're going where the current tells you. You you don't really have much option. Um. Okay, this isn't the masculine guy, is it? He's got a masculine. Please tell me he's not the masculine guy. <laughs> Well, Apophis can deal with it in any case. Putting Apophis up front is always a good idea around these, uh, this particular route. Because there's a lot of water Pokemon and water Pokemon trainers. Um, yeah, I think this is the Basculin guy. Ah! <laughs> Enter the Basculin guy! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't like these things. 
Useless. Useless motherfuckers. Okay, another one. And another one! <laughs> oh, go away. One more. Oh, thank God for that. Just because you've got two blue ones and two red ones doesn't mean that they're any less tedious to fight. They're still Baskelin! Die! Okay. I don't know how that guy can think he's good at Pokemon battles when all he has are Baskelin! Deep Sea Tooth. I think if you have a Clam Pearl, which obviously you wouldn't have until after game in this, you can evolve it into a um, Huntel, I believe, if you used a Deep Sea Tooth on it. Or uh, I can't remember. Um, so now we got up to some land. Um, there's sort of like items and stuff that I haven't actually collected. I will admit that. Um, Around this area, there are a few items that I miss out on because I couldn't be fucked. <laughs> I have to go surfing around to find, you know, where I need to go to get to them items. Was that sturdy or was that just luck on his part? Whatever. I'll just use return. Doesn't matter. Because, you know, with only one hit point left, it's going to die no matter how weak the move is. And Tyrion is really sore in ahead there, but I'm quite happy to let him continue to soar ahead because he's my biggest hitter in the next gym. Obviously, when I got to the next gym, I realised I didn't need to level him up that much. So, um, but yeah, you'll see what I mean when I actually get there. Crustle. God, that must be back-breaking, having to carry that thing around the whole time. Poor thing. Poor Crustle. Poor Krusty. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I've not been feeling the greatest. I mean, this morning my chest was... My chest in the back of my throat felt like it was on fire. I didn't, I didn't understand it. I think it was just sort of like trapped wind or something, but it, oh my god. Horrible. Horrible! I think I'm gonna slap the XP share on someone else. Um, and in the meantime, carry on this way. Um, let's see what's in this house first. Okay can rest your Pokemon, which is cool. I, I love that about this game. You you don't have to travel long distances, you know, back to the nearest town just to heal up a Pokemon. Um, you know, there are, there are trainers and various people scattered around that will heal your Pokemon for you. You don't actually have to, you know, go all the way back to the nearest town to do it. And it's probably a bit over-exaggerated, some people might think, but I think it's pretty good. Very handy. I mean... <sighs> I'm not too keen about having to travel all the way back to the nearest town. To a Mulga. <sighs> I do like these things. <laughs> I do, but I don't. I mean, they're cute as buttons, but... As a, as was demonstrated a while back with the double team and bastards, ah, uh, they can be incredibly annoying. Ah, uh, electric moves thankfully don't do much to Apophis. Apophis is, you know, very resistant to electric moves because he's a grass type. Come on, Apophis. You the man! <laughs> We're doing very well. Okay, so, uh, that's that. Um, I 
think I'm going to head down here now. Push this big boulder out of the way. See what's hidden down here. We have a Max Elixir. Okay, that, that's going to be a handy thing to have, I suppose. Anything over here? No? Okay. I suppose I better heal up my team after that battle. I mean, it, it's not like a lot of these um, trainer battles really do a lot of harm to my Pokemon. It's just it's always best to, to stay on top of their health and stuff, because... That's just the way I roll. Okay. All good to go. I think I forgot to slap the rappel on. Um, I probably should have done that. Um, where is it? Uh... It's the only problem about having to hunt for things. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, I suppose I can go down now. That Pokeball there at the end of that, well, you know, all that um, long grass. That's HM5 waterfall, so. Yeah. Well worth picking up. I mean, it's not something that's going to be used you know, you need to use. I mean, you can save it for after game. But basically, it enables you to climb waterfalls, um, which enables you to access a ton of areas that you wouldn't be able to access before. Uh, areas in the Lost Lawn Forest, back, in, you know, by Route 16. Um, areas on routes that only become accessible after you beat, you know, after you get to the after game. Um, but they enable you to access all sorts of areas, like the Abundant Shrine, where you can catch Landorus if you have both Tornadus and Thunderous. Which I'll talk about when I come across them. But, you know, that's that's not for a, a few more parts yet. But I am getting there. I am getting there quite, you know, quite swiftly. <laughs> um, yeah. Just being a surfing bird in this part. <laughs> oh, I'll just find it. In I don't know. Cause everybody's heard about the bird. It's a bird, bird, bird. The bird's the word. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's the word. I'm sorry, but I had to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my husband, if he had heard, been standing outside the bedroom door. He would have laughed his ass off <laughs> at me uh, doing that, but nonetheless, that takes out Whimsicott. Um, Gail's doing very well. <laughs> um, I think now I can pick up that item. Now that I've dealt with you, Dragon Scale. I don't remember what you're used for. And a hidden calcium on this rock. Now I do know what the calcium's for. I will definitely probably use that um, when I get up to the Elite Four. In fact, in fact, I do use that when I get to the Elite Four. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, I'll probably use it. I did use it. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, there's there's not much else, a lot else to explore around here, because. I'm I'm kind of one of those people who just I don't explore every uh, single aspect of the route. I do admit that because I couldn't be asked to figure out how to get to some of the uh, further off points. So it'd probably be easier to explain it another way. Um, see, there's like a patch of um, you know tall grass down there with a Pokeball by it. I don't get that, because I couldn't be asked to try and work out how to get down there. I mean, I did it in Pokemon Black too easily. It's not hard. I mean, it's just a case of surfing around all the, um, the currents and all that. Um, but... Uh, I can't be fucking asked. <laughs> I are lazy. 
I am lazy. Okay. I... I'm getting quite sick of the sight of Basculin. I really am. Everywhere I friggin' look, these ugly fuckers are staring at me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, he's not gonna do much to... Okay. I was gonna say it can't do too much to Froggy, but evidently it did. <laughs> Bollocks to that, then. I take back my statement. Okay, I'll heal you up, because that'll be much easier. You're going to need to be healed up anyway, so I may as well do it now. You are part water type, though, so this shouldn't be hurting you as much as it is. And again, you're part ground type as well, so that's probably why. Now this is one annoying fucking basculin. My goodness. Not only is it an ugly fucker, it's an annoying one at that. My goodness. Uh, okay. So. I'm going over to heal you up. I was going to say I was going to go over to a Apophis, but then again, I think I'm determined to try and take it down with Froggy here. I mean, it'd be so much easier. Just all that effort I put into whittling itself down, it'd be a waste of time just to switch over now. I'd shot you, it's probably not going to do anything. Okay, it did more than I thought it would, but... Yeah, it still knocks you out, who the hell cares? Simmy Sage. Oh, Simmy Sage, um... Yeah, Froggy's four times weak to grass, so I'm definitely going to switch you out of there. And put Tyrion in! Tyrion is the man, of course. Okay, Simi Sage. Um, one flare blitz to the throat should take you out. I am not even concerned. <laughs> Tyrion is so strong. I have no worries. Well, that takes care of you. Um, Darmanitan. Hmm. Trying to prove that your Darmanitan's better than mine? Ha <laughs> fuck that. Tyrion is the best Darmanitan I've ever worked with. We'll go back over to Froggy. Froggy! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think a Surf should probably be the best bet here. Didn't actually expect Thrash to do that much, but evidently it did. Ah, crap, I didn't take it out. That's not too much for this, you I'll, I'll heal Froggy up, I think. Heal her up and then we should be good to go. Ah, another thrash. Like a bloody toddler, Darmanitan. <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> that actually hurts quite a lot. Nevertheless, that should take care of that. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, see you all in the next part where we'll finish this route and head on over back to Icarus City.